Howdy lads, so we're back for another Battle Zones match on Farmstead, one of my favourite maps. Versus we buckled Super Proxy, so he jumped in my lobby when I was waiting for a match. Um, I was actually waiting versus Fett and Super Proxy jumped in. And we decided to get a game in, he said he watched some of my videos, so what a good lad. Um, I will just point out, if you do like these videos, feel free to chuck a like, it just lets me know that you know people want to see this stuff. And on another note, we're almost at a thousand subs, which is amazing. I never thought I'd even get close six months ago when I started. So thank you for that, everyone. That's awesome. But I'm Germany. It's late war, and I've gone for the all-round liberation DLC doctrine. Um, not the strongest doctrine. I do really like it because of the drilling uh, that you can get on the half track. But obviously, it is a pretty weak uh, doctrine because all of those units that you get early can be destroyed by 1AT rifle. So I don't know if you'd go for the all-round liberation doctrine if you wanted to, if you're versing, I guess. Or if you knew that you're versing a really good player. Um, and I didn't. I kind of just got it because I like him. And this super proxy guy ended up being a very decent player, which is awesome. So hopefully we can get some more matches. He jumped in the Discord, so hopefully we get more games in against each other. Because I like versing uh, those really good players. It's quite fun. But I'm capping the middle now, so I've gotten there first, because I believe my side, you can actually get there quicker. His soldiers are just starting to pour in now, as you can see. Just above the little A there. My machine gun on the hills, doing some good work. Just getting a bit of damage in early. Now I've got this crappy squad pushing over to the right. I know I say I don't get them, but... Within the first minute, just to pump out that infantry, I think it's okay. I am also sending a squad to the left to reinforce that. So I'm smoking out this point so I can get my guys on without them getting slaughtered. Obviously they're very weak soldiers, so I don't expect them to hold their own against any of his squads. So I'm just trying to hide them amongst the uh, shrubbery there. He's now capping the middle. So I think I actually get that squad that I'm heading that I'm sending to the left, and I reroute them in. So I'm just trying to get the soldier in there, just cap weight. The thing about getting, did I? Oh, I did. There you go. I've got a machine gun, so I'm bringing that to the middle. Uh, the machine gun doesn't do a lot for me. It actually becomes quite useless pretty quickly. Um, I am putting a machine gun over on this point though, just to kind of help reinforce it a little. I believe they all come with MG42s now, and the MG42s are awesome. So, very good support weapons. Especially just for the infantry squad, like if you don't have anything supporting them, those MG42s could sometimes be enough. And in case you didn't know, you can actually direct control the MG42s. If you press T and go into the, uh, not third person mode, but the direct control where you can kind of point the aimer, you can take out AA trucks, um, yeah, a whole bunch of live vehicles with those uh, MG42s quite easily. So you don't always need to have an AT rifle or a grenadier guy. Sometimes you can get away with just using the MG, but I am capping the middle now, so that's good. Left side's firmly in his graph, though. So grasp. So, I'm rerouting that machine gun over though, and I'm sending another squad to the left. Pretty comfortable on the right side, but the problem is I've only got really crappy soldiers on that right side, so one squad and a decent push by him, and he'll probably kick me off that very quickly. What's he sent? Dushka truck. So, Somehow he can see all my guys through the smoke. Quite silly. I wanted to get him into the point just for the cap weight. I think he dies before he gets there though. Yeah, you dead. Rough. All good. I just kind of wanted to get my machine gun out of there as well. I probably should have uh, tried to take it on. But oh well. 
I think I do actually. I think I sit it down and try to take it on. Hey. Smart move on his part. Pulled it back. Five minutes in, 254, 266, his way. Machine gun is doing okay. So what he's done is he's actually built some foxholes. Uh, just kind of beneath the cliffs there, you can see, beneath the hills. I think that's a very smart move. He had the time to do it. I wouldn't have thought to do that. I would have just kind of kept my bars up on the hill. So he's taking out my machine gun, as you can see. But no, that was a very good move on his part, I thought. He's got a lot of soldiers on this left side, so... I'm going to have a very hard time trying to push this objective. I'm just trying to spread them out, kind of, in the point, just sort of cap weight. But I don't really have a prospect of taking that at the minute. These guys, I've decided to bring over into this corner, because he's... The bulk of his forces are kind of west at the minute. So I didn't want to kind of push them from the southeast. I wanted to push them from the east. So they'd be as protected as possible while they ran in. But I got my next officer. Or my first one, I should say. So I will start capping this very shortly. So use smokes, guys. I can't stress it enough. Smokes are the probably the most important tool that you have in this game, in PvP. So I'm capping the middle now, but he's also capping the right side. And I've got no infantry or anything, so I've pushed up the drilling. I'm moving that up. Let's see if I can't take out that truck. He's moving it away. So all good. Sending it to the left. From memory, my truck doesn't actually do that much. The only downside to my plan here with the smoke is... You've got to keep an eye on them, because if the smoke goes away and you don't realise, you can screw yourself over quite badly. I can't remember if I actually get it or not. Ah, it started shooting on me. Stuff. Do I get it? Very, very nice. That's a good kill. Very good kill. Me just trying to blow it up. The truck is indestructible, so I gave up. I thought I'd better get it out of there. So I'm bringing it up to the northeast. I'm hoping to help this push. Got a squad pushing there. I'm bringing a squad up to the left as well now. Trying to get a guy onto that machine gun. So the drilling is quite handy, but it's also very vulnerable. Well, I'm not, I, I love the gun, but... As I said, if you're versing one of the best players, you probably would get it. doing uh, some good work for me at the minute. So what I'm doing is I'm trying to smoke out his side and just get a bunch of grenades in there. I just want to clear him off that point. He's using his foxholes very well um, in reinforcing his points, so fair play to him. I'm getting the drilling out of there. Pretty sure I just threw a grenade on myself, but okay. Uh, very nice. I've got control of that point. Now I'm heading left again to the southwest. I think the drill, yeah, I bring the drilling over. Very nice. I don't think it lasts that much longer, if I'm honest. But now the lads are in. See his foxholes dug around. He's got guys up on the hill. He's uh, he's got a hold of this point very nicely. 
don't know if that makes sense. Got to hold at this point very nicely. Kind of. The drilling's here now, so I hope we do some damage. I just got to make sure it doesn't kill my own dudes. I'm just throwing a few more smokes around, and then I'm going to get a bunch of grenades out. That's my plan. Do I get the mortar? No, I don't. I haven't gotten a mortar in a while, actually. I used to love getting the mortars. So, I should be pulling the drilling out now. It's not going to do what I want it to do. Um, he's got a vehicle on the north, though, if you can see that on the minimap. I think it's an SU-76, so... Yep. I'm charging it. Drilling's going off. Just mucking around trying to get the Panzer Faust. So he bought this over without any infantry support. Well, without enough infantry support, I think. I've got a shot on it. He has got one infantry there, so fair play. He's got a little bit. I think he was getting ready for a push. I don't think he was ready for me to discharge him. Um, but he's taken out my drilling now. So. so. I was thinking if I had a smoke or anything. Nah, that's dead. So, fair play. I think that's a T70? T50? T50. Oh. He's actually capping the middle now as well. So, he's starting to wrestle back control. Uh, 1120 in though. 255, 384 his way. Um, I don't know if he's got an officer in the middle or anything. I feel like everyone uses officers better than I do. I never use them. I just leave them back. Because as soon as you lose your officer, you're screwed. I feel like it's almost game over if your officer goes down. He's making a push on that north side now. So not a bad move. He's got complete control of the middle and left. Now's probably the time for him to push on that side. The best thing you can do is keep your opponent answering you. So, if I start hitting his left point, he's going to have to answer that. If I start hitting his middle point, he's going to have to answer that. But while there's a lull in the fighting, if he smacks my northeastern point, that's the only point I hold, I've got to answer that instantly. Otherwise, I will start going down really fast. So, it's, it's all tactical. That's what I love about battle zones. Um, you know, there's more to it than just having better units. Um, you can win a, a battle zones match with that, which I think I do quite frequently with worse units. I'm getting, trying to get a few foxholes in. He's actually capping this point now, so he's done exactly what I said. He's pushed northeast, so now I've got a reply to that. Trying to see if I have any grenades or anything. Just lob a few grenades, see if I can't get a few cheeky kills. Come on, throw your nades. Let's just get him killed. Rough. I should maybe get the flamethrower. Uh, one. Now I've got another drilling. So, I know he's got the T50, but that's kind of busy at the moment in the middle, so all good. I'm going to have to go at it with the Panzer Shrek. Go, you good thing. Made it. go. He's got a fair way considering how much he's getting shot at. Uh, he's got something else as well. I don't know what that is. Maybe an AA truck? Yeah. AA truck. So, I've got an armoured squad over there with the uh, half tracks. So half tracks should be able to help out a little bit. Drilling's back. So I'm waiting for him to kind of send his T-50 over. That's what I kind of expect. I'm now tapping that, that point now. So now I've got hold of one point. I can now start focusing on some of the others. I'm starting to go down pretty heavily at the minute. So now I've got to kind of make a bit of a move on. As you can see, he's just gotten into the 700s. Not ideal for me. I'm sending another squad to the left though to ignite a push on that point. Bringing the half track back around. I want 
keep my AT dude hidden, kind of far back, in case he pushes me with something. He could actually be fixing his SU-76, I don't know why he's not. But 15 minutes in, 2.36 to 7.37 his way. I've brought in my ID signaler though, come save the day. Performance drop, rock gig, we're back. So, I don't know if he's got officers or not, but I decided to shoot this building and open it up a little so I could get shots in there. I wasn't sure if he was hiding an officer or something in there. So I think that's a, always a good idea to open up the buildings if they're hiding in them. So you can use your AT guys for more than just AT. And I'm not actually far off capping this point. He's only 4.5 up for me, so I think with the squad and the drilling, I should be able to take hold of that point, which I am. So happy days. Get him. So, by the sounds of it, he shot my um, half track. Ooh, I just got a good grenade kill on something on the Gaza. Nice. Didn't even mean to do that. So, I'm just really. I'm going to clear up that building completely. Give him nowhere to hide. That's my plan. So, oh, Fubuku's playing again. He actually mods. He's got a mod out. Um. I'll try and remember what it's called. Look, I'll try and figure out what it's called for next time and I'll tell you guys what it is so you can go check it out. But pretty cool. Oh, yeah. I shot... I actually say I say here, game fuck me. Because I shot the uh, flare gun and for some reason it fell right where I shot from. I don't know what it hit. Yeah, no idea what it hit, but uh, the RD flare didn't go where I wanted to go, it just kind of dropped on my own soldiers, so that kind of sucked. But, I have got two points. I probably would have been capping that middle point if I hadn't done that, but can't win them all. I've got this AT guy hidden at the back, so I think it's always a good idea to have a, a sneaky AT guy hidden somewhere if you can. So I missed my first shot. One thing to watch out with AT guys though is don't overcompensate because you could end up with, you know, a whole bunch of units that sit there doing nothing for a long time. So oh, like, I've got my two AT guys out. I think that's plenty. You can always throw smoke and just wait, like wait them out while you bring AT up. But he's made a push with a bunch of armor and not enough infantry I think. Pushing with armor is always risky. Get him! Do I get him? No. Buff. Missed. So he got out that time. T50. Smart play. Got a whole bunch more infantry on this point now. I'm kind of stuck in that corner though. So a mortar or one of those Molotov things could ruin my day quite quickly. So, flary guy take two. So I'm, I wasn't sure if I hit that tree, so I'm trying to go as wide as I possibly can, but that flare was a lot better. So I'm just smoking out the middle point to get my boys on there. Uh, AT dude up here to the left as quick as possible just in case he flanks me so getting some kills with that artist signal which is quite good so now I'm charging my boys on hoping to get a cap in that good point Top that. 
seems he's also pushing on this right side, but he's getting slaughtered, so... He does have a tank back there, though. Watch out for that. He has wrestled control of two points, left part by the looks of it. Or, or I'm wrestling control back on that good point, I should say. 20 minutes in, 348-719, his way. So quite a good match so far, I've thought. I've thought. I don't know why I said that twice, but... The last few games have been very good, um, I think. I've got to watch out now, because he is capping the middle significantly. He's also capping that right side. He must have both his officers out at this point on the points to try and like get him over the line. The game is in his hands at the minute. So at the, at the moment, I'm just trying to cling on to dear life. I'm throwing a bunch of smoke grenades. I do still have my drilling. I don't know why I'm not using it. But luckily I had this dude hidden over on the left side of that point. So now I'm just going to sneak up to that T-50 and do some damage. It's handy having a bunch of pants fast in the unit. Good shot. Bit of luck. Happy with that. Got no AT grenades to finish it off, but that's okay. I'm losing that right point quite badly though. I've seen him charging a new bunch of units into the middle here. So I thought, you know what? Have a flare. I'm still clinging on. Throwing smokes, yeah. I'm throwing some more smokes to hopefully get some grenades in the back of that point. Bringing my drilling up. And I bought more of these units. I, I don't mind the old half track units. Look at that kill feed. Very nice. So I pretty much wiped his squad with that. But now covering this right point again. Days. Oh, Commissar, there you go. My MG42 belt killed Commissar, so we did have a uh, officer on that point. He was trying to trying to cling on, get that last 250 points, but not today, son. Not today. I'm bringing my drilling back. I've left my half track on there. I'm seeing another squad in the middle. And now it's time to put the foot down. Ooh, good play. He took out my drilling with the SU-76, so he did actually get it back a lot. Very good play. I'm sending my half-truck around. This is the drilling. Oh, I'm sending the drilling around. I thought that was the half-truck. Maybe I, I mixed them up, my bad. That's okay, so I've lost the half-truck and the drilling. Not to worry. I see where his mortar is, so now I'm throwing a few grenades. Deal with that. And I'm hoping to throw some anti-tank grenades at this tank. Run, son! Hey, you didn't get it. Sending another squad up there, though. It's middle objective. What's happening here? Why am I not capping? He's starting to run out of infantry, though. You can kind of see. So, he has ignited a push on the southwest side, though. Very good play, my friend. Very good play. But, I'm still holding on just. If I'd have pulled that drilling out and gotten it on this side, that would have been very handy, actually. Kind of wasted my units a little bit, to be honest. But I'm having another go at it. With the flare gun. And my idea here is just to completely clear this point. I don't want to give him any opportunity to make a push. While I'm concentrating in the middle here. 
get up there, lads. Running out of smokes, as you can see, but not to, not to worry, I've got more. So there you go, I'm now capping. Did I kill the Commissar again? I did. So there you go, next Commissar's down. Must have been on that middle point, so. From here, I'm sure you can see where it's going, but 25, 14 in, 396 to 6, 6, uh, 679 it was. Can't talk today. I had a big Christmas night last night, so struggling a little bit. Those of you who stuck around this long to hear my annoying voice, at least now you have an explanation. We brought out the National, so very excited to get some use out of this thing. Um, I feel like I've wrestled control of the game into my favour though. Thank you, RD Signaler. You know, even though the RD Signaler didn't get the kills, it scared it kind of scared him off the point. He's got to run his commissar away, and that allows my guys to shoot him back while he's running. So I think the uh, RD Signaler saved it for me in this one. So he's got this OT3485 flame tank. I do like the idea of these flame tanks. I've never used them though. Missed. I don't know why I was worried about it shooting the back. Oh, it wasn't this one, sorry. There's another thing he brings up that I must have been playing a bit of back and forth with. Destroyed that. Happy days. Obviously, the thing to worry about with the Nash Horn is it's quite vulnerable. I don't know if I could have taken a shot from the uh, flame tank 34 thing. Don't know. I don't know what the armor value of it is. But I imagine not that much. But the natural is doing some good work for me. Shooting the flare up just to kind of hold him off the point. Don't really have a need for the flare gun guy anymore, but I'll take it. So I'm going to run him up, try to get some, uh, crawl him up and try to get a nade over there. I don't think he actually has really anything at this point, to be fair. Maybe a couple of soldiers hidden somewhere. So he's clinging on to the alarm. I don't know why the Nash wants to run around like that. He did. The IS-2, that's what I was, uh, playing a bit of back and forth with. Yeah, let's reverse towards an IS-2. That's so smart. <laughs> I think at this point he kind of knows he's a bit screwed. I'm coming back really hard at this point. I've got all three points in my possession. Ooh. But I think he realises what it is and goes, Oh yeah, I'll take that. So I decide to pull back. I think I'm out of his range though. I think I outrange him by a bit. I was like, alright. I'm ready now. Come forward. Good shot. So, I think he was pinning his last hopes on this IS-2. Um, but I have a bit of trouble dealing with it. Takes a lot of shots. Turret's gone. Good stuff. So yeah, at this point, game is mine. He's got no infantry left. I've just taken out his best and most expensive unit. And I've got all the points. Look at the map. Covered in infantry. Bye-bye tank. And now we just kind of push on and wait it out. He is making another push on that northeast side. But... So he fights to the end, which we love. We absolutely love it when people fight to the end. So I'm bringing the Nash Horn over. Sorry to those of you who wanted to wait to the very end of the match to find out who wins, but... I mean, at this point, I'm sure you can see what's happening. After 30 minutes, if you if you start going behind by this much, you're probably done. Because the odds of being able to get more units out is pretty hard, especially with the amount of vehicles he's pushed out. Like, look at all the dead vehicles he's got on the map. Um, that's a lot of points in our vehicles. 
especially for some that didn't do anything. But just trying to get a sneaky kill on this uh, 276. He's got nothing to push with. But that's the game, lads. So, good 30 minute game. We love it. So, hopefully, we get another match in against this bloke because he was quite good. Also, properly, I quite like playing him. So, yeah, jump in the Discord if you want to come get games against us. Thanks for watching. GG's, and I'll catch you lads on the next one. Cheers.